If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. First one, let's say if we have A times B, okay, is equal to zero. So we know that let's say two times zero, so two times zero is zero. Or zero times two is equal to zero. So zero times anything is zero. So therefore, if A times B is equal to zero, so that means, let's say A equals zero. So this means that zero times B equals zero, right? Or B is equal to zero. This means that A times zero is also zero. So in another word, if A times B is equal to zero, this means that either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. So that's what that meant. So therefore, if x minus 2 and x plus 4 times together is equal to zero, so this means that either x minus 2 is equal to zero or x plus 4 is equal to zero. So now what we do, we just solve this equation, that's all. So what minus 2 equal to 0? So it's 2, right? 2 minus 2 is 0. So therefore, x is, is equal to 2. Otherwise, you just solve linear equation by just moving this on this side. So negative 2 move on that side become positive. So therefore, x is equal to 2. Or, okay, if I move the 4 on that side, so this means that x is equal to negative 4. Next one, x minus 7 all together, right, times x minus 3, which is equal to 0. So this means that x minus 7 is equal to 0, or 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So if I move this on that side, so this means that x is equal to 7. And then um, for this equation, second equation here, I move this on this side. So 4x, which give me 3. So to solve this, I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. So this cancel out. So you have to write the final product. So which is therefore x is equal to 7 or x is equal to 3 quarter. Next one. Now, if you think you can do it, you can, of course, you can pause the video anytime and try it yourself. Or you can just work with me as you go. So for this one here, we have 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 or 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. So we just solve these two equations now. So I move the 5 on that side. So that means positive because negative 5 move on that side become positive. So... 2x is equal to 5. Then I divide this by 2. I divide this by 2. So that cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to 5 go to 2 go to 5 is 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4. And then um, remainder 1. So 1 over 2. Or 2.5. Doesn't matter. Okay. Second one. So I move the positive 7 on this side, become negative 7. So 4x is equal to negative 7. So second step, I divide this by 4. I divide this by 4. So this cancel out. So x is equal to negative. Now 4 go to 7 is 1, remainder 3. So 1 and 3 quarter. Of course, you can just use calculator. Negative 7 divided by 4, if you like. So now the final products for this, therefore, I just write it out, x equal 2.5 if you like, or x is equal to 1, negative 1 1.75 if you like. Either way, it doesn't really matter, okay? Next one. So I just clear this first because I run out of space. So 7x plus 2 root 6 all together, right? And then you times by 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. So first of all, this group here is equal to 0. So which is 7x plus 2 
plus 2 square root of 6 is equal to 0 or 4x plus 15 is equal to 0. So move this on this side. So that means 7x is equal to negative because positive 2 root 6. So move on the side, become negative 2 root 6. Then I divide thing by 7. So x is equal to negative 2 root 6 over 7. And for the second equation, so for the second equation, so what I do, I move this on this side. So 4x give me negative 15. Then I divide thing by 4. I divide this by 4. Divide this by 4. That cancel out. So x is equal to 4 go to 15. Of course, it's 3 times because 3 times 4 is 12. So remember 3. But the answer should be negative. So 4 go to 15 is 3 times. So 3 times 4 is 12. So remember 3 is 3 quarter. So therefore, I just write therefore x is this or x is this. Next one. So to solve these equations, of course, either this group here equals zero, so the, the equation is true, or this is equal zero. So that's time together that everything becomes zero. So I'll write this out first. So this means x minus two plus root two is equal to zero, or x plus three minus root two is equal to zero. Either one of them is equal to zero, the statement is true. So now to solve this, x is equal to, I move the negative two on that side, become positive two, so just two. Then if I move the root two on that side, so become negative root two. So that's the answer for, for first equation. And to solve the second one, I can just move the positive three there, become negative three minus root 2 and move over become plus root 2. So all x is equal to negative 3 plus root 2. Next one. So to solve this again it's just the same process. So you go root 3 x minus 7 is equal to 0 or root 2 of x minus 3 is equal to 0. Either one of them. So I move the 7 on that side become plus. So root 3, x is equal to 7. So I divide everything by root 3. So x must be equal to 7 over root 3. But then we don't want to write like this because we need to rationalize the uh, denominator. So which is times this by root 3, times this by root 3. So therefore, x is equal to 7 root 3 over 3. Now for the second equation, I move this on the side. So that means root 2x is equal to 3. So I divide thing by root 2. So x is equal to 3 over root 2. Then remember, I need to rationalize the, the denominator. So time root 2, time root 2. So I write in here the final answer. So x is equal to 3 root 2 over 2. So therefore, x is equal to 7 root 3 over 3, or x is equal to 3 root 2 over 2. Next one here. So this means that x is equal to 0, or x plus 7 is equal to 0. So therefore, x equals 0, or x equal to, move this on the side, equal negative 7. Next one. So this group here, x root 2 of x is equal to 0, or x plus 7 is equal to 0. So I divide thing by root 2, so which means x equal to 0, or x is equal to negative 7. So therefore, x is equal to 0 or x equal to negative 7. Please stop the video and try this question yourself. 
first one. So this means that x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 6 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I just move the 4 on that side. So this means that x is equal to negative 4 or x is equal to, I move the minus 6 on this side, become positive, so which is 6. So therefore, x equal to negative 4 or x equal to 6. Similarly, so this means that this one here, which is 3x plus square root of 5 is equal to 0 or 4x minus 3 square root of 7 is equal to 0. So I move the square root 5 on that side. So that is 3x is equal to negative square root of 5. Then I divide this by 3, divide this by 3. That's cancel out. So therefore, x is equal to negative square root of 5 over 3. And with this equation here, I move this on that side. That is 4x is equal to 3 square root of 7. And then I divide this by 4, I divide this by 4, I cancel this. So that is x is equal to 3 square root of 7 over 4. Next one, 2 minus 5 and then 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. So two, that means 2x minus 5 is equal to 0 or 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. So I move this on that side. That means 2x is equal to 5. So I divide by 2. I divide by 2. So that is x equal to 5 over 2. But we normally don't write improper fraction. So we write mixed numeral or decimal. So 2.5 or 2 and a half uh, if you like. And for the second equation, so I move the 7 on that side, so it becomes negative. So 4x is equal to negative 7. So I divide by 4, I divide this by 4, that cancel out. So I write all here. Or x is equal to 4 equal to 7 is 1, but it's negative. Okay, I need 1 and 3 quarter. Or negative 1.75. Last one. So same rule apply. So we just write 7x plus 15 is equal to 0. 7x plus 15 is equal to 0. Or 4x plus 15 is equal to 0. So I move the 15 on that side. So it should give me negative. So 7x is equal to negative 15. So I divide by 7. Like this, I divide by 7. So therefore, x is equal to negative 7 go to 15 is 2 times and 2 times and 14, so remember 1. So negative 2 and 1 over 7. And the second one, I move 15 on that side. So this means that 4x is equal to, I write all here, uh, negative 15. Then I divide this by 4. And I divide this by 4. That cancel out. So all x is equal to negative 4 go to 15 is 3 times because 3 times 4 is 12. So remember 3. So 3 quarter. Thank you so much for watching.